have their counselor or therapist, duty to others, having a calm environment. Their sobriety is a big one for them. Um, pets, best friends, having a safety agreement, um, support of others, responsibility to their children. So everybody's wall looks different. Some people might have one or two things on their wall and that's enough. Some people might need a lot of things on their wall to help keep them safe. We're all different. So, um, you know, it's really important that if people have a good wall of resistance, that's really what's going to keep them safe when the crisis hits. Here's just another way of looking at a suicide crisis episode. Um, so it could be that people are stable for a period of years. It could be years that people are in a good place, things are going well. And then something happens, some kind of something happens that makes it so a crisis starts happening, and at some point the crisis peaks, and then the crisis diminishes, and then they can have a period of stability forever, or forever or until something else 